So I got my things about a week ago, come to put it together. Got my VTX in, got my receiver in, got my antenna on, got my motors up, got my um, camera on. And just to give it a test on the motors, because I know this is generally all right. And we plug her in and I'd already done continuity test and as you can see the light on the thingy is working and functionable. Right, but then when we come to do this, if I stop you and pause you there, I'm going to unplug and plug in the flight controller obviously to the end that it needs supplying to and then I'm going to plug it back in. So I'm just going to pause you a second. Now, as you can see, everything's soldered up nicely, correctly. Correctly. My, um, that's to my VTX, that's to my camera, and that's to my receiver. And then just to make sure the flight controller is working before I plug everything into it so I don't blow components that I don't want to be blowing. And this is what happens. Now we come on and as you can see all we have is a faint light there. I don't know if you can see it. It does come up and I think it's just because the light is on. Let me see if I can turn the light off from here. There you go. So just by turning the light off and on, you can see that there's like a red light there and no other indication of any other lights operationable on this board. I've also tried plugging it into USB and we don't get no lights whatsoever. But you can feel a chip on the back getting really, 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 really exceedingly hot. So from this alone, I would say we've generally got a fault on this board. Where the fault is, I don't know, but that's all we're getting. And I am experienced in this field. We do watch Mr. Bardwell.